Today is like the first day of school. The cast is all coming back, having not seen each other since last season. It's the chemistry between the cast that makes the show so sexy. I think they all throw off such a great vibe. This cast puts a smile on your face when you see them. Welcome, everybody, to season five of Younger. I love the first episode this season. It's one of my favorite episodes of the series. There, there's so many surprises. I think people are going to be like, whoa. It's, so crazy. it's super unexpected. It also makes you think, like, whoa, like anything could happen. I lost it when I read it. The first episode of season five could have almost been the finale of season four. The surprise really comes out of left field, and yet we get to tell a story that reflects what's going on right now. Charles is finishing a phone call as Liza lightly knocks. Charles' emotions are in. What I want to know is, did Edward L. L. Moore ever cross the line to do it? Do you want to say something, Liza? They could destroy the company, but we'll support you. <laughs> He's a flirty old man, but he never crossed the line. No. You sure? Yes. OK, uh, then we're announcing the Pam Pam Chronicles tomorrow at Comic-Con. All of the former Princess Pam Pams will be there. Edward specifically requested you. Your support would mean the world to him. Wearing the fur bikini? <laughs> we as writers just two years ago were sort of laughing at the antics of a character like Alan Moore, where today you would basically think, no, it's really not that funny. We were examining ourselves at the same time, which is interesting. I don't think that this season is much about can she sustain her lie. I think it's more about can she sustain her relationships with characters that she loves. So it's, it's real. It's Josh. Impetuous, romantic, selfless, a little crazy, and Yes, I think he's making a mistake, but I'm the last person that can tell him that. I feel like you're the one person who could tell him that. I tried. I really did, Kels. But it wasn't Josh that wanted me there. It was Claire. What? She wanted pictures of me at the wedding. They'll come in handy when I vouch for their relationship to immigration. You got yourself into a pickle. Uh, yeah. A real pickle. I think the end of this first episode just changes the equation for the entire series going forward. And it doesn't happen until the very, very final moment of the episode. You have to keep watching, even past the point when you think the episode is over, because it happens in the very last moment. There's a lot to process right now. So uh, what's the big surprise? If there is sort of one overarching idea about this season, it's things get real. 